Well, there was disappointment for the thousands of people hoping to see that Artemis 1 launch this weekend. A fuel leak forced NASA to scrub the launch for a second time. The big question, when will NASA try to launch the huge rocket again? News 6's James Barvero is speaking with a space expert about what comes next. On a holiday, we're not expecting an update from NASA about when the space launch system could be rolling back to the vehicle assembly building. But after a second scrub, we do know that the next Artemis 1 launch attempt won't happen for at least a few weeks. They need to do a deep dive, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Given that NASA says it doesn't even know the source of the latest hydrogen leak yet, space journalist Ken Kramer thinks it's unlikely the next launch attempt will happen this month. Kramer says it's more realistic SLS could be ready for launch opportunities NASA says are available between October 17th and Halloween. The cost of two scrubs is a lot less than a failure. Saturday, Administrator Bill Nelson asked about the public's perception of the delays. It's already well publicized. The Artemis program is years behind schedule and billions of dollars over budget. Nelson, though, not appearing worried. You know, space is the place. Everybody is really interested in this mission, going back to the moon and getting ready to go to Mars. Sadly disappointed, I'm like, that they scrubbed again. Gary Merkins traveled from Minnesota hoping to photograph the launch. Still on the Space Coast Monday, he backs the administrator, saying he believes NASA will get the mission off the ground eventually. They're the scientists and they're the engineers, and they're the ones that are going to know when it's ready and when it's not. Some criticism is definitely valid, but we want to get back to the moon. That is the overriding goal. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.